Chris Noth is speaking out after a recent report alleging he feels, quote, iced out by his former Sex in the City co-stars after he was accused of sexual assault by two women in 2021. Taking to Instagram on June 23rd, the 68-year-old captions a screenshot of a New York Post article, I usually don't respond to this kind of thing, and I do know that people like drama and gossip, but this article by Samantha Ibrahim is absolute nonsense. Just thought you'd like to know. Following the original allegations, actress Zoe Lister-Jones spoke out about the And Just Like That alum. In a December 21st Instagram post, Zoe, who said she worked at a club owned by Chris in her early 20s, accused the actor of being, quote, consistently sexually inappropriate with a fellow female promoter and further alleged he was, quote, drunk on set when she guest starred on Lot and Order. Days later, Heather Kristen, a former Sex and the City stand-in, also named Chris as the unnamed alpha male actor she previously wrote about in a February 2021 essay whom she said, quote, manhandled her and exhibited, quote, toxic behavior on set. At the time, Chris's former co-stars Sarah Jessica Parker, Cynthia Nixon, and Kristen Davis shared a joint statement on social media. It read, We are deeply saddened to hear the allegations against Chris Knopf. We support the women who have come forward and shared their painful experiences. We know it must be a very difficult thing to do, and we commend them for it. Then, in an interview published May 2022, Sarah Jessica, who also serves as an executive producer on And Just Like That, told The Hollywood Reporter, I don't even know if I'm ready to talk about it. When asked if she's spoken to her former on-screen spouse, she simply replied no. In a statement to E! News in December 2021, Chris said, The accusations against me made by individuals I met years, even decades ago, are categorically false. These stories could have been from 30 years ago or 30 days ago. No always means no. That is a line I did not cross. The encounters were consensual. It's difficult not to question the timing of these stories coming out. I don't know for certain why they are surfacing now, but I do know this. I did not assault these women.